Nothing is happening to us, everything is happening for us. That's what we're gonna talk about in this vlog of Agile Lounge. <music> from uh, Anne Willem. I'm gonna put the link in the description below. It might have nothing to do directly with our intention and our professional field of Scrum, Agility and Lean Management. But let me tell you something, that a lot of people uh, put a lot of things before and after Agile these days. And me, I call myself Agile Lounge, the brand to bring you workshop, a uh, very uh, innovative and exclusive way of doing uh, the introduction to agility, scrum and lean thinking and lean management. So the lean aspect is very materialistic, but when it comes to agility with the values and the principle, it's really a, a mindset that set up something that go have to be an evolving towards a kind of a conscious agility, something that I would like to co-create with a lot of people, including those who, who claim to be uh, conscious leadership uh, leaders. So that's the thing. So with this new year for Agile Lounge, it's my third year of the brand and my about 23rd year in the field of Agility and Scrum, I would like to offer my services to the world uh, uh, based on that quote of Hans Willem that I'm going to put the link again in the description below that you're going to see it's a lot more spiritual than materialistic. But have in mind that back in 2001 when the 17 awesome guy met uh, in Utah at Snowbird uh, for the Agile Consortium. There was a name that, that back then, the Agile Consortium. And when they gathered together, uh, I saw truly this equation. It's, it was lean management. Everyone like uh, Ken Beck from uh, XP uh, Extreme Programming, uh, Mike Beadle was the first one to uh, use Scrum and expand Scrum with a scientific and pragmatic mind. And Dave Thomas, the pragmatic Dave Thomas, and so on and so on. So the equation was like, really, they everybody know back then since the 60s and the fulfillment and, and, and chain of production, everybody was kind of going lean and lean to make more profit, to deliver faster, and, and so on and so on. But lean lacked of a certain aspect towards the quality and the experience that any of our user or customer are actually using. So this is why uh, back then we were more in the first part of this code of saying like uh, nothing is happening to us, everything is happening for us, but you have to go grab it. And I think like the lean management was it's happening and let's contour it to make it better, faster, blah, blah, blah. But when agility comes up, Okay, with the four values and the 12th principle decide, especially then for software development, of course, but having in mind this with empirism and everything, so we evolved in the last 18, 19 years, really soon. And um, yeah, so the equation is lean management plus uh, customer integration and collaboration participation into the value, the proposed value, will equal agile. And now what I say is business agility, okay, which is more than IT and software development, plus conscious leadership or conscious capitalism equal conscious agility, which is a fact that we take pride of. Everything is happening for us Therefore, we have to make it happen. We have to stop talking and talking um, about it and make it happen. So that's the, that's what that quote like inspired me. Uh, as a coach uh, and as a mentor, I would like also to bring you uh, my friend Ralph uh, Smart. So here's a quote from Ra Ralph Smart. I don't have it writing in front of me right now, so I'll try to make it best. But for sure, in the description below. I'm gonna put it like clearly those two codes with the proper link 
to the author of those codes. But Ralph Smart teach me lately in one of his video. Um, he's doing coaching on everything. Me right now, yes, for the last 19, 20 years, I was doing coaching on agility and Scrum and now Enterprise Scrum for Scaling Agile. But uh, really, I was a coach way before that, helping people for do, uh, doing their marathon and also the cy cyclists uh, and my team and uh, coaching people and call center back in the day when I was a UX designer and CX designer. So coaching is, is something that either you have it as a communicator and someone who could show uh, what is practice for years. So, so a lot of coach out there, I'm sorry again to say that, but I'm truly insisting on this. This is a, a consistency for me. A lot of people say they are coach, but they are coach of what? So anyway, but Ralph is a great coach too. I didn't met him yet, but I following uh, him on, on, uh, on YouTube as well, because he got some great inspirational videos. Not for everyone, like Hans Willem, it's the same. But those two guys combined inspire me a lot of what I'm doing with Agility and Scrum and Enterprise Scrum. So the quote of uh, Ralph goes like this. If you are not inspired by people in your circle, that means it's not a circle you have. It's a cage. And I will add to that, Tuss, get out of the cage and if you need help to get out of the cage and find yourself in a circle of energy a veritable circle of friend circle of professional people that like to win that like to make something happen for them for their customer for a better and smarter experience of work and the client that will come back to purchase your goods your services and so on so I think those two codes that again it's going to be in the link below and the description below that you can have the link and the author and uh, so I think a coach put whatever you want next to coach you'll have to um, inspire people I think it's the first thing and I remember when I was doing a workshop on the London scrum gathering uh, takeaways one of my uh, colleague and mentee Actually, uh, his expectation of a coach will be exactly what Ralph tells us, inspire me. So if you, you're not surrounded by people who inspired you, it's time for you to get out because you think you're in a circle, but in fact, you're not in a circle of collaboration. You're not in a circle of professional, uh, I, I have your back, you have mine, and so on. No, 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 you're, you're in a cage because if people cannot tell you how great you are, uh, how much your dream could be feasible, how much the experience you'd like to create is feasible, which means that these are signs that you're trapped in a cage and you're not in a circle of energy. So we're gonna expand on this and this new year for Agile Lounge. It's gonna be the fourth year for this brand. And again, as I said, my 23rd year of doing Scrum and Agile. And truly this year, my goal, uh, the circle that I would like to create is Enterprise Scrum with people that I'm gonna shout out now, Simon Roberts in England, uh, John McFadden in England as well, Barbara Michur, the great wife, the great widow of our late master Mike Beadle, and Sue Ryu in New York, and so many more. Michael Armens, I salute you. You're a great man. I hope to collaborate and have you in my circle because you are inspiring me. I hope to inspire you as well. And for anyone in Montreal, Toronto, and Vancouver, Phoenix, Boston, and New York who would like to have a session with me, click on the link below. Uh, to follow up uh, on anything. I'm gonna offer one hour free to get to know each other and then after we could make a plan to make you and a circle of friend, a circle of customer experience, a circle of employee experience, something better and more, more even smarter. So see you soon for this new year of 2019-2020 of Agile Lounge. So subscribe if you're new to this channel to get more inspiring capsule and thinking capsule and this year we're gonna do a lot of type of vlog a lot of session as well and also I put in the description below the link to uh, to get your prime scrum beer membership uh, for only ten dollars donation so it goes to uh, your free first glass of beer at this upcoming scrum beer number six in Montreal at the uh, brewery uh, for origins which is Thursday, September the 26th at 5 p.m. We're gonna talk about what's an agile uh, business. 
with entrepreneur startups that will share how they became and they are agile without even knowing it because they had to be we have to be in the 21st century if you'd like to achieve so see you soon uh, let's meet there and a um, lot of things uh, comment in the section about what type of video and vlog you'd like agile Lounge to produce for you and more and more and more and uh, let's let's be free because our birthright it's to be free cheers guys and agile for all mm -hmm.